Hello everyone, this is Sans. The question is when is Argo blockchain going to be on the next leg higher? In this video, I want to talk to you about Bitcoin technicals and fundamentals and how we can use this information to position ourselves in relation to Argo. I will be talking about how we can analyze the price action from the previous death cross in March of 2020 during the Corona dump to predict what might happen in the next month or so. From May 5 to June 16, Argo shares have been fluctuating between 1.5 and 2.4. If you are a short-term trader, then around 1.7 is a buy zone. We have regular 10% daily price swings in Argo shares, so that might provide you with buying opportunities. From a long-term perspective, Bitcoin has a lot of room to run higher. And if you really want to play it safe, what you can do is wait for Bitcoin to go above its 200-day moving average. And after that, you can buy shares of Argo or you can buy Bitcoin directly. Guys, if you find the content valuable, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. I will really appreciate it. And now, before I get into the rest of the analysis on this slide, let me show you something. People will just not accept the fact that a country like El Salvador has made Bitcoin legal tender. There is going to be FUD going on. This is Steve Hankey, a professor of applied economics at John Hopkins University. It, it does indicate that the, the president and the Congress uh, who voted for adopting Bitcoin in El Salvador as legal tender Mm -hmm. are, uh, in, 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 in a word, stupid. Uh, they've entered the Hankey's Dictionary of Economic Stupidity. And, and the reason for that is uh, El Salvador is, is one of the three Latin American countries that is officially dollarized. In other words... But Professor, if the U.S. dollar is better than Bitcoin, then over the last year, why has the purchasing power of the dollar gone down? What about the guys who are working in McDonald's who don't know anything about Bitcoin? They are earning in dollars and the purchasing power is decreasing and they probably don't even know what's going on. Now, this is the BTC death cross that we had in March of 2020 during the Corona dump and this is where we are now. Here, Bitcoin was rising, going into the death cross. And after the cross, as we see here, there was a fall. And this was due to all the FUD and negativity that's associated with the death cross. And this provided an opportunity for the institutions to pile in. And then as we see here, the bull run started. Even now, we have had a rise over here from around 33,000 to 41,000 recently. Guys, the death cross shows you what's happened in the past. It does not show you what's going on now. The BTC USD shots are very high right now. The last time we were at this level was in June of 2019. Guys, after this Bitcoin death cross phase is over and Bitcoin begins the next leg higher, all these shots will have to cover their positions. As long as we stay above this trend line, we are in the repair phase. We may have a retest of this trend line. Guys, once we break this outer trend line over here that's coming in from the high of around 64,000, at that stage we will know that the momentum has returned back. However, this might take a couple of months to happen. Recently, there have been a lot of issues in the crypto markets and it has been a difficult period for Argo shareholders. Right now, we need more clarity about which way the price of Bitcoin is going. We have to remember that the share price of Argo and the other miners will be affected by both the macro industry level factors and also the company level factors like the number of mining machines, cash flow and whether they are using renewable sources of energy. The iShares Europe small cap ETF has increased its holdings in Argo blockchain from 41,000 shares to 72,000 shares and this is a good sign for Argo shareholders. Also guys, Michael Saylor is at it again. MicroStrategy is selling 1 billion in stock to buy Bitcoin. They say that it's also for general purposes, 
but most of it will be used for buying Bitcoin. The question is that while MicroStrategy has been able to raise so much funds, those who are providing these funds, why are they not simply buying Bitcoin directly? This is because they have to abide by their investment policies and they, they cannot simply just buy Bitcoin directly since it's a volatile asset. What Michael Saylor is doing, guys, it's either genius or it's madness. Most probably it's genius. Also, the board members of MicroStrategy must be quite supportive to have allowed Bitcoin to be bought so many times. Saylor's name will be a part of history. We are in the middle of a financial revolution that's decentralized. And guys, along with El Salvador, slowly there will be other countries who will also be accepting Bitcoin. I hope the charts and analysis are allowing you to make more informed trading decisions. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.